So you kind of uh, probably uh, find out a lot about yourself the next 10 days or so, right? With yeah. Travel to Portland and then no question. quick turnaround to FSU. Yeah. But it's, um, you know, everybody's kind of searching, like right now, like, like who's their team? Like you play certain games. I thought it was really good for us, obviously, in the Marquette game, how we won, even though you would like to line it up better. Um, just the fact that we were down and, you know, showed some toughness and hung in there and made some plays, you know, necessary to, to win. And you'd still like to be able to make your free throws and close out the game. But, you know, you can learn from that and do a better job of concentrating um, the next time. But, yeah, the travel will be a little bit different, you know, for everybody depending on where you're coming from. And, um, and then what happens afterwards? You know, I think that's what you're kind of alluding to. Like, you know, we have the quick turnaround and, you know, fly back here and then fly to Florida. And uh, so, you know, it, it's part of it. It's, it's not something that, you know, can't be accomplished in terms of having success and on both of those trips. But, um, you know, it does get a little dicey at times and you just have to worry about the game in front of you and just keep it right there. Was there a particular focus this past week that you had extended time off from yeah. game to game? Yeah, we, you know, we took two days off and then we practiced for two days and we took another day off. So I think any time you have moments like this, like you, you know, you need to still keep practicing hard and still have a, you know, a good intensity. But when you when you do have time, I think it really helps them. And I think it helps them both mentally um, and and physically. But no, just you know, rebounding the basketball, you know, being tougher. Obviously, West Virginia is a good rebounding team. We got out rebounded by Marquette. So like you know, just collectively doing a better job of rebounding the basketball and uh, kind of treating Marquette as a loss. That's what I told them in film. I know it sounds crazy, but if they're just, you know, they make two more shots, you know, you feel a lot different in that locker room if they win the game, when in reality it's just two two more shots. And so, like, you know, still look at some of the things that we struggled at. I thought we had some some possessions out there where guys were just shooting to get shots off. You know, you got to shoot shots in rhythm. And there's nothing wrong if you have a hurried shot late in the clock. Everybody understands that. But um, the guys would make a shot, then all of a sudden then they'd take a bad one because they made one. Um, and, and just, you, you got to maximize your time. Like, you know, if you get 20 minutes, you know, you, you can't be upset that you didn't get 10 more. You know, you've got to make the most out of that 20 minutes or whatever your scenario is. And, and just, you know, continue to bring value to the team. You got the shots you wanted in the first half against their half court pressure. Mm -hmm. Were you okay with how your guys handled that? Yeah, we handled defensively, well. knowing you're going to see more of it. Yeah, we got good shots. We, we for the most part, you know, as a coach, you're going to be pretty um, tough on you know your shot selection. You know, you never have that 100% fix. Like you got to take good shots, but you also, when you deal with people that can shoot, you got to understand their confidence level is always pretty high especially for guys when they make a couple. Um, but no, I, I thought we, we, we had some pretty good shots that just didn't go down. I think that's been the case so far. I think that's probably the one thing that's surprised me so far is that we haven't made um, as many open shots as I thought we would. Um, is that getting the ball enough now? You said before the no, ball they're doing, <laughs> no, they're struggling, to be frank with you. They're really struggling. We got guys with their head to the ground. We got guys that catch the ball up top and don't look in. We got guys that dribble in, and he's got guys buried, and they don't see him. Yeah, we're we're really struggling in that area. And I'm, I'm being serious. Like they they have to do a better job of delivering the basketball and getting the ball when he's open. Now there's going to be people that take it away. When they take it away, you know now you got to move the basketball and, and play for the next one. But when he's open and, and they miss him, you know that can happen maybe a couple times a game. We're, it's happening about eight to ten times in each game. So we either got to find some guys that can make improvements there or find new guys that are going to throw it in. We got some guys that, that throw the ball in regularly. We got other guys that, you know, are real inept in that area right now. Just how he's maintained his production with the more minutes that he's, that yeah. he's playing. Well, I, you know, national media just pick up on stories and they just run with it. You know, it's just lazy journalism. Um, because he's always, guy. you know, you're not. I wasn't <laughs> speaking to you. Um, and, and they just they just run with something. You know, they just they just run with a storyline when he's always been able to play. Like we've had other big guys that have been able, you know, to play three to four minutes. You got to get him out. He's not like that. You know, he he's he's a lot different. He's very physical. Um, he moves well, but he's got you know, from a cardiovascular standpoint, like he can get up and down the court and, and, and maintain a high level of intensity you know, for seven to eight minutes.
with West Virginia's length, especially on the wing, um, do you see yourself perhaps playing more of Trey, Caleb, and Mason maybe on the floor together with Edie? Those three guys together? What two of the three? Sorry. Uh, no, Mason's not going to play the three. Okay. So yeah, no, no, no. They we need people that can move mm -hmm. like more than anything. When you have athletic long guys, you got to have people that can move and that can pass yeah. and, and things of that nature. So I think that that movement's really. We, we got to have our guards, you know, do a good job of, of cutting and moving. I think that's going to really help us more than anything. If they overdo things, then now when you have ultimate size, that's where you can really hurt people on the glass. Yep. Any on Cam? Nope. <laughs>